What do you think Jesus would say to Justin? I think he would say to him that he loves him, but like he thinks that he should be like maybe more godly, like because lately he hasn't been like the best role model. And since he's a Christian, he and he says that he needs to act like it too. I think Jesus would say to Justin Bieber that he should be unashamed of being a Christian. I think Jesus will say to Justin, um. You're a Christian and you can have fun, but it depends on what kind of fun you're having. For me, what it took th this whole transition to a new level that is that I went through an uncomfortable phase. There was a time where I was sipping lean, I was popping pills, I was doing molly, you know, shrooms, everything. It would have been no bono. It was bad. It would have been, yeah. I don't know if I'd be alive for sure. These are things that I think a lot of people with secure households learn at a young age. I never had that security in a family. I never had that consistency. I never had the reliability and the accountability and all these things that make you understand the way the world works. I was a good kid, but I was still like a head. I was bad in school. I was always a class clown. I never really respected authority like that. I was like a nice kid, but like coaches didn't really like me because I was a bad team player. You know, looking back, you know, those things kind of shape why you feel the way you feel about yourself. Like, I would feel like I'm a bad person. Oh, I was looking at myself in, in the mirror, and I was growing up, I, my mom raised me as a Christian. So, but as I was growing up, there was so many weird Christians that I came across that yeah. was just like, I don't think I want to be a Christian, yeah. you know? I believe in, uh, I believe in God. I believe that uh, Jesus died for my sins. Mm -hmm. um, I think that God is the only one keeping me sane right now. Like I'm a Christian, you know, I believe in God. I believe that you know Jesus died on the cross for my sins. I believe that you know um, that you know I, I love. I have a relationship with Him. I'm able to talk to Him, and really, He's the reason I'm here. So I, I definitely have to you know remember that. And you know, as soon as I start forgetting, you know, I gotta like click back and be like, you know, this is why I'm here. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for this tea, and thank you so much for my dancers, and thank you so much for my backup singers. You have quite firm family values, don't you, and Christian values as well. Mm -hmm. I'm Christian. Um, I believe that, you know, Jesus died on the cross for my sins, and uh, it helps me, and it helps me stay grounded, being able to, you know, pray and stuff and keep that more important than anything else because if, if you start taking yourself more seriously than you do God, then there's a problem. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Lord. No, thank you that we have great friends. We're able to hang out together and uh, have a good time. Man, I have God in my life. I need to be stronger than ever when I'm here. And uh, without God, I don't know what I would do. So please keep me strong. Right, right, right. I just didn't know what the heck was going on. And so I really took a deep dive in my faith, to be honest. I just went deep into, like, I believed in Jesus, but I never really, like, you know, when it says following Jesus is actually turning away from sin. Mm. And so there's no, what, what it talks about in the Bible, it's like there's no obedience. There's no faith without obedience. So it's like I had had faith about, like, oh, I believe Jesus died on the cross for me, but I never really implemented it. Mm into my life. I never like was like, I'm gonna be obedient. All right, the first case uh, this afternoon is uh, Justin Bieber. Uh, Mr. Bieber, you are charged with the following. DUI, alcohol or drugs, resisting without violence, and driving with an expired driver's license. And who is representing the state and who's representing the defense in this case? Now, Justin Bieber is feeling the stress. His week has been marred by hospitalization and a blow up with the paparazzi. The larger than life 19 year olds finding out supersized fame comes with supersized baggage.
New trouble for Justin Bieber. Police swarming all over his mansion looking for evidence that Bieber egged his neighbor's house. Fans are freaking out that Justin Bieber is back on meth. The concerning part is that throughout the video, Justin is uncontrollably shaking and appears to be on some heavy drugs. <laughs> Justin Bieber is speaking out after being accused of sexually assaulting a woman back in 2014. Do you think the person that Either you of then was on a path of self-destruction. Do you feel that you were on a self, you were self-destructing? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I would have for sure, 100%. Yeah, 100%. It would have been, it would have been no bono. It was bad. It would have been, yeah. I don't know if I'd be alive for sure. It was dark, really dark. So I'm very, very grateful to have influences in my life that have played a huge part in me, seeing their relationship with Jesus and their relationship with their wives and their relationship with their kids and saying, that's what I want mm. and um, striving after that. So when did you decide to actually move within the guidelines and how did you find yourself away from, yeah, I believe in Jesus, but I'm gonna drink or do drugs or sleep around or what all these other distractions. How did you get out of that world? What was the turning point for you? I think it was my perception of who Jesus really was, you know? Um, I'd had really bad examples of Christians in my life uh, who would say one thing and do another. So they were the, my direct example of who Jesus was. That's why you didn't take it seriously. I didn't take it as seriously because I didn't have Good example. Good role models. They, yeah. Yeah, I think that I was just, yeah, living in this shame, living in all this sort of stuff in my past, and I wasn't able to move on. But the more I looked at it, so now I'm not doing the way I look at my relationship with God and with Jesus is I'm not trying to earn God's love by doing good things. God has already loved me for who I am before I did anything to earn and deserve it. It's a free gift by accepting Jesus and just giving your life to Him. And what He did is the gift. The forgiveness is the thing that we look at Him. You know, I'm gonna worship you, God, because you gave me something so good. And so you live that life of like, I don't wanna cheat on my wife, not because it's the right thing to do, but because I don't wanna hurt her. See the difference there? That is love. Yeah, it's, it's You're like, putting the well-being of someone that you care about ahead of your own fallibilities and your own exactly. previous behavior. Exactly. And what's, you know, what's out there. Exactly. Yeah. But, um, I feel like God's, you know, when he sees us, he, he's not this God that people, a lot of people think that's like judgmental and he's a God that, uh, that accepts us for who we are and loves us through our, our pain and through our, our dirt. Jesus wasn't this religious elite guy that, you know, came to, um, but he was, he was in the dirt and uh, he found me in my dirt and pulled me out and that's why my story that's why i'm not afraid i don't want to i want to talk about without forcing that into people's i, I never want to be someone that's trying to persuade anyone to believe in what i believe i think god persuades people but i want to definitely tell my story so that if if that resonates to anybody that they can uh, hopefully learn from it I was so lost. I'm like, let me try to revisit my faith. But I did it with these people because I know that their view on their faith is so much different than most Christians. Because uh -huh. most Christians are like, I'm going to do this so that God can love me. I'm going to yeah. like, if I show up wearing this, like, they'll respect that, you know? Of but course. that's not what God is. Like, if God is based on love, it's I love you first, regardless of what you do, rather than 
you do this and then I'll love you. Does that make sense? He loves you no matter, he loves you no matter what. what. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't mean you can go do what you want, but it, it just... It, if God's based on love, like, I, if I love my girlfriend, right? Yeah. I'm not going to want to cheat on her because I love her so much. It's not like... If I don't cheat on her, she's gonna love me more. Or you know what I mean? It's like yeah. you develop a relationship with God and so grows. that you don't wanna do that other stuff. Yes. You don't wanna be judgmental. You don't wanna hurt people. When I really sit in my room and I'm alone and I can just like, God, are you there? Like, I feel this connection with something that's a higher being. It just, and picture it as being a perfect thing. Yeah. It just puts an ease to my soul that's like, I can't describe. Special. It's special, yeah.